Wavetable is a glorious new addition to Live's synthesis instrument library, along with analog, operator, and the other physical modeling instruments. And it's got quite a unique interface. So just to get everyone acquainted, I want to uh, give a quick tour here. So as you might have noticed uh, in the last tutorial, we've got our main oscillator window here. And if I tab over there, we've got a second oscillator. So Wavetable is fundamentally a two oscillator synth and it can be activated or deactivated via the square toggle there. On the far left, we have our sub oscillator and basic transposition settings. Here in the middle, we've got our dual filter section. And on the far right, we've got our modulation area. So our mod sources include a dedicated amp envelope and two secondary assignable envelopes along with a pair of LFOs. Now, don't worry, we'll be getting into the nuts and bolts of all of these later. Here is the matrix where modulation sources can be assigned to parameters throughout Wavetable quite easily, and the MIDI pane is where you can assign incoming MIDI information to those parameters as well. Finally, on the far right, we have our output stage, volume, poly or mono, settings and the amount of voices we want available in poly mode along with glide if we're in mono mode and the unison settings. One thing that sets Wavetable apart from previous live instruments is you might have noticed a little show hide toggle next to the activation toggle right here and if I click it boom look at that so I can resize the browser and we end up seeing less of the modulation sources and the oscillator. So let me just collapse the browser. And now we've got our sub oscillator and transposition settings up here. Both of our oscillators viewed up at the top. And here we have our five dedicated modulation sources with the previous modulation setting dedicated now to the MIDI and modulation routing matrix. So I can also adjust the size of that top area which sends the oscillators back to the original area and leaves the five dedicated modulation sources visible up top. So those can also be squished a bit if the browser happens to be open, and we can adjust and resize as needed. So I am going to maximize that, and this is basically where we are going to spend most of our time because I want everyone to have as good a view of all the features of Wavetable as possible. And these are the main areas that you'll be working in too.